Good morning, afternoon, evening, or whatever time of day you're watching this video. My name, as always, is Alex, and today we are doing a very important presentation. Just like all of them are. I feel like I say that every time. But today we're doing a real big one. We're doing respecting and how to set boundaries for others. And how to respect those boundaries when others have set them. Cool. Come along with me and discover this journey in setting and respecting boundaries for everyone. Perfect. So the agenda today, that's why there's a little A in the little fancy doodle over there, the A, agenda. Starting off, we're going to do a definition. What is a boundary? What is it? I don't know. We're going to find out. Cool. How to set the boundary. What do you can, what can you say? What can you do to set those boundaries for people in your life? and how to respect those boundaries once other people have set them. Also, we're gonna talk about what happens if you don't respect those boundaries. What can happen down the line in your life if you're not respecting boundaries for other people once they've set them? Good things? Probably not. Bad things? Yeah, most likely. Cool, then we'll finish off with our conclusion. Awesome, so come along, let's do this video. Awesome. First off, the definition, what? is a boundary. A boundary, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, is a line that marks the limit of an area, a dividing line. But what does this mean for you? What does this actually mean for you? Well, there are different types of boundaries to set. Setting physical boundaries. It's when people are touching you or getting in your space, right? Setting those emotional boundaries. So people hurting your feelings, setting those property boundaries, the things that you own. So it'd be things like people breaking your things. And of course, your time boundaries. It's people not respecting your time. Cool. So now let's go in deeper. Let's do a deep dive. Splash and talk about how we can set those boundaries. So our physical boundaries. So what does someone breaking your physical boundaries look like? Well, it's unwanted touching. It's when people are touching you in a way that you don't like. I wouldn't like it if you came up to me randomly and just started touching my head. Not a fan of that. That's no bueno. No, thank you. Hugging you without permission. I've really worked really hard with the kinders and the grade ones teaching them that it's okay to want a hug, but ask first for that hug or do the nonverbal gestures and stuff where you go like, hey, give me, do you want a hug? Like you do the nonverbal thing and then they come up and they give you the hug or they don't, right? And it's also when they continue to do those things after you've asked them to stop or have said no. So what can you do to set those boundaries? Well, you can say, please don't hug me without my permission. Just straight up tell them, right? Tell them, I feel uncomfortable. Those are the all-powerful I statements. I feel uncomfortable when you touch me in that way. Don't talk to me this close. If you're all up close, if you're a close talker, people talking up close, people don't like that. Just tell them, please don't talk that close to me. And of course, I said no or stop. I need you to listen to me. That's how you set those respectful boundaries. You tell them straight up what you need them to stop doing. Emotional boundaries. When people break your emotional, emotional boundaries, what it looks like is people dismissing your feelings. When you've told them, you know what, I'm really angry right now, they go, Psh, you're not angry. There's no reason to be angry right now, right? That's not respecting your emotional boundaries. Saying hurtful things to you or about you behind your back. That's not respecting your emotional boundaries. People oversharing about themselves. So if I come up to you the first time we met and I'm like, hey, what's up? These are all the things that are going wrong in my life. That's not respecting someone's emotional boundary, right? Or people burdening you with sharing so many of their problems instead of actually seeking the proper help. So if somebody keeps coming to you with all of their problems constantly, 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 but they're not doing things that will actually help, that's not respecting your emotional boundaries. So what can you say to them to help them respect those boundaries? You say, I need you to listen to how I'm feeling. 
I need you to understand that this is how I'm feeling right now. I don't like it when you say those things about me. Please stop. I don't feel comfortable hearing this. Can you please speak with someone else about it? And here's going to be the tough one to do. But I don't know what to say to help. Because always you're going to want to help people. That's the thing. We are human beings. We want to help people. But we don't always know what to do to help them. But what you can say is, I don't know what to say to help. Maybe you should talk to a parent a teacher, a caring adult, someone who can actually help you. Property boundaries. Breaking your property boundaries can look like somebody taking things without asking. Could be breaking things without remorse, without saying, oh my goodness, I am so sorry for doing this. Can I replace it for you, right? Or if they're breaking things on purpose, they're actually going out of their way to break things of yours. That's not respecting your property boundaries, right? Going into your bag, your desk, your locker without asking or your knowledge, without your permission, right? And repeating any of the things that we just talked about after you've told them to stop already. That's not respecting your, your property boundaries. So what can you say to set healthy boundaries? Well, you can say something like, if you want something in mind, just ask me first. All you need to do is ask. Please don't go into my things without asking. And I need you to put my things back and not take them again. These are the things you say to set those property boundaries. And last but not least, breaking your time boundaries. What that will look like. This is a little bit more harder, a little trickier to understand, but we'll go into it, right? So it's when people are showing up late to things, right? Or when they're showing up late to things without letting you know, being like, hey, yo, I'm going to be late. Give me like five minutes extra. And they'll be like, yeah, no problem. That's cool. But it's when people are showing up to, late, to things late constantly all the time and they're not telling you that they're going to be late. Asking you to break plans with others so you can spend time with them. You already have plans to go hang out with Susie after school on Friday, but your friend's like, nah, 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 Susie's stupid. Don't hang out with Susie. Come hang out with me instead. That's not respecting your time boundaries. And people arguing with you when you say that you need to leave, say you've been playing Fortnite for an hour and it's you need you're done. You're like, ah, you know, I'm done with Fortnite and stuff. And you're talking to your friends on Discord and you're like, hey, guys, I need to leave. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, don't be a wimp. Keep playing, keep playing and stuff. Right. Like you don't need to go, but you really do want to go. That's not respecting your time boundaries. So what you can say to set those boundaries is if you're going to be late, let me know. Text me so I'm not worried about you. Right. And you're not waiting around feeling kind of dumb that you're waiting around. And you know, if they're going to be late, then at least they're coming. Okay? Say things like, I already have plans for this time, but let's plan another time to hang out, right? I can't play with you this recess. Let's hang out next recess. Cool. Things like, I need to go. I need you to respect that. If you can't, or if you won't respect my, I won't make plans with you in the future. That's a very mature way of saying that I need to go now. And if you don't, if you're trying, if you're not respecting that, then I'm not going to hang out with you anymore because you're not respecting me. Okay. Now, here's one of the, there's a good quote. Here's a good quote about boundaries. If you're offended by my boundaries, then you're probably one of the reasons that I need them. So if you are being offended by me saying, Stop talking to me like that. I don't appreciate that. Or if you're offended by me saying, hey, stop touching me in that way, then you're the reason I need these boundaries. And you're probably not a great person to have in my life. So if you don't respect boundaries, what could happen? Well, if you don't respect physical boundaries, if you're not respecting people's physical boundaries, then people won't want to be around you. They're not going to be wanting to be around somebody who's going up and touching people's faces all the time, right? You're going to get people. You're going to start getting their reputation as being creepy, that creepy person that always comes up and close talks to people. is always like this. If I'm always up like this, then it's creepy, right? And in the end, when we boil it down to it, it's assault. If you are touching somebody without their permission constantly, it's assault. If you're hitting them, if you're touching them in unwanted places, that's assault. You can go to jail. Okay? 
if you're not respecting people's emotional boundaries, what happens to you is people won't want to tell you their secrets. They won't confide in you. They won't trust you with these things. You won't be able to build those genuine connections with people because people aren't going to want to do it if you're not respecting their emotions, right? And when it comes down to it, if you're not respecting people's emotions, then it can be considered verbal assault or harassment in the end, right? These are the big things, right? Property. People won't want you to let you borrow things when you do ask because you're not respecting their property boundaries, right? You'll be, you'll, 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 uh, here we go, right? You won't be trusted to be left alone in the classroom. You're going to be supervised all the time in the classroom, right? You're not going to be allowed to go to the washroom on your own. People are going to supervise you, right? How awkward is that, right? And in the end, it comes down to charges of theft. It can be destruction of property. These are things you can go to jail for. You can get fined for, right? Time boundaries, right? You'll be labeled as unreliable. People won't be able to trust you, right? People won't invite you places because they don't know if you're going to be there or not. You're going to flake out, right? And in the end, you could lose your job, right? If you're showing up late constantly, you're not letting people know, then you're not going to be employed. People aren't going to want to hire you, right? So big thing I want you to take away from this is boundaries equal consent, right? Consent is making sure the other person or people are okay with what's happening. So physical boundaries, is the person okay with the way that I'm touching them? Emotional boundaries, is the person okay with the way that I'm talking to them or about them? Property boundaries, is the person okay with me taking something from them? And time boundaries, is the person okay with the plans we made? And here's the big one. If the answer to any of these is, I don't know, then stop and ask. Ask them if it's okay. And if the answer to the question is no, then you stop. You are breaking their boundaries if you continue and you don't have consent to do it. Cool? Capiche? Makes sense? All right. Summary. Setting boundaries helps you protect yourself and your feelings. If there are people in your life that are not respecting your boundaries, it means that they're not respecting you. So set clear boundaries with people and respect the boundaries that others have set with you. And remember, if you're not sure, ask. And if they say no, it means stop. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. My name is Alex Dotsko. There's my email address if you have any questions to send to me. But yeah, brilliant. That's excellent. Thank you so much for following along. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And yeah. All right. Cheers.